Did you know that the City of Toronto enacted a new zoning bylaw in May 2013? Where do you find the bylaw and learn how to search for the zoning of a particular property or area? Fortunately, the City's zoning bylaw can be found online. Go to www.toronto.ca slash zoning. The site has useful links such as the basics illustrated. These handy guides explain how the city planners measure grade, the height of buildings, roof height, setback, lot coverage, and the floor space index. If you want to read or download the zoning bylaw, you may do so by clicking on the PDF link in the center of the page. The new zoning bylaw contains grandfathering or exemption clauses. These apply to the building standards in the bylaw, including height, setbacks, gross floor area, lot area, and lot frontage requirements. Each exemption clause provides that the condition of a lawfully existing building is the permitted zoning requirement for that building. Any new buildings or additions must comply with the zoning bylaw requirements. We're interested in looking at zoning in a particular area though, so we'll explore the interactive zoning map. To navigate to an area of interest, you may double-click to zoom in, click the zoom buttons, click and drag to pan the map, or type an address to search. We've zoomed in one level, and you'll notice that colored areas appear. The legend at the left explains what the colors mean. There is also an inset map to help orient you in relation to the rest of the city if you've zoomed in. We want to search a specific area, so we'll search by address rather than zooming in repeatedly to get to the area of interest. Click into the address search field, type an address, and then press enter on your keyboard. The map zooms in and the searched address is indicated by a red pushpin. We're not seeing enough detail yet, so we'll zoom in a bit more. You can see the searched address more clearly now. There are three colors displayed in this area. What they represent can be found in the legend. Yellow means residential, of which there are several subtypes. Orange means residential apartment, and green means open space, which often represents parks, or as in this example, an area that has been set aside for a future park. You will also notice codes on the map. These are called zone labels, and they describe the zoning in each section of the map. This label is telling us that the zoning in this section of the city is for residential detached properties that have a minimum lot frontage of 15 meters, a minimum lot area of 325 square meters, and a maximum floor area expressed in a decimal fraction, indicating 0.4 or 40%. This means that the buildings on the property cannot cover more than 40% of the lot. A second label is telling us that the zoning in this section of the city is for residential multiple properties that have a maximum of three units, a maximum floor area of 0.6 or 60%, and an exception. Site-specific exceptions supersede the general requirements of the zoning bylaw. We'll learn how to search for the exception and what it means in a moment. We've looked at only two examples of the many types of labels that you will find on the zoning map. How can you learn what they all mean? How can you learn how to understand the exception on the residential multiple properties just mentioned? Just left-click with your mouse in a zone. A pop-up appears that contains hyperlinks to the relevant sections of the bylaw. First, we'll explore the bylaw chapter relating to this zone. Here's what the codes found in the label mean. Next, we'll look at the bylaw section related to this zone. This is telling us that if there are multi-residential properties in this zone, that they can contain no more than three units. And lastly, we'll explore the exception mentioned in the label. As you can see, the links in the pop-up take you to where you need to go and save you from having to scroll through the very lengthy bylaw document. There's one more unusual thing on this map, gray areas that mention the former zoning code. These former general zoning bylaws regulate protocols not included in the new zoning bylaw and represent applications made during the transition period to the current bylaw. These areas will eventually be included in the bylaw. 
In this example, an application was made to construct townhomes on land zoned as residential freehold. We hope that you have found this brief training video to be of value in understanding how to use the City of Toronto's interactive bylaw map.